Hello YouTubers, in this video you are going to learn part 1 of Silent Night, so don't forget to slow-mo this video. Alright everyone, so today we are going to look at part 1 of Silent Night by Franz Gruber. And as always, we'll mainly be focusing on the rhythm because we think if you can get the rhythm right, then getting everything else is child's play. And if you stick around to the end of the video, there'll be an awesome rhythm exercise to help you learn this even faster. So now I'm just going to play you a quick 20 second sample of what this is going to sound like. So in this part, you're just playing through two chords, actually. OK, and the way we're playing it makes it sound very flowing which is appropriate for this song. All right, so the counting for this song. This song is in what's called the 6-8. So that means there's six counts in the each um, measure of the song. So I'll be counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let me show you how to do that um, one hand at a time, okay? So the left hand is going to go one, two, three, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So as you can see, the only one's missing is four, right? And that's where the right hand comes in. So the right hand comes in on one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so finger numbers for the right hand, thumb, pointer, ring. For the first one, you can use, you could also use like that, whatever's comfortable, really. And then for the second chord, you this is highly recommended finger position here so thumb pointer ring and pinky that's really going to be your best bet okay and then for the left hand i was using either four two one or three two one is good okay and then for those other notes um pinky pointer thumb that's going to be what you want to do there's really not a lot of other options that are that great unless your hand is really big okay so now let's try playing the piece together both hands okay so i'll count us in one two three four five six 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 all right awesome so you made it to the rhythm exercise okay so this is just going to be getting used to this um six eight time signature here so what you're going to do is we're just going to do that first chord okay and we're just going to play it in that style that i've done in the video so far so and you're just going to try to count out loud one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So it'll go like this one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Right. And then you're just going to repeat that. Okay. So I'm going to do that a couple times nice and slow so that you can follow along. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six all right awesome so that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day hey thanks for watching all the way to the end I hope everything is going smoothly with learning this song. If you have any questions or comments about the video, I would love to hear them. And remember, practicing the piano daily is a great way to exercise your brain. You're training focus, memory, coordination, problem solving, and the list goes on. Anyways, have fun making music out there.